Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. In today's video, I wanna dive into an unboxing and an in-depth review on the CNC Q2 Terminator. I will leave links for you in the description down below so you can check out this machine on your end. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm also gonna highly encourage you to drop a comment down below and I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as his YouTube channel, I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you find my content helpful and enjoy my YouTube channel, consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. So this is going to be an updated version of the CNC Q2. For those who are familiar with CNC, this is a standard packaging right here. And this is going to be the CNC Q2 Terminator. And I'll show you why here in a moment. So taking a closer look at under the hood here, we are greeted with the user manual. Feel free to go ahead and pause at any point so that we can read this on your end. I'm just going to kind of skim through it here for you all. So that right there is the Q2 user manual. Let's take a close up look at the actual machine here. And this right here is the CNC Q2 Terminator. Now it does have the exact same design as the older Q2. However, as you can see, it's a completely different color here. It is click grip. Let me go ahead and disassemble it for you all. Let's take a close up look at all of the components here. So it is a click grip and it still is nice and compact in size. It does feel a little bit more thicker over the other Q2 that I'm used to using. However, that could just be from not having a Q2 in my hands for a little bit. Overall though, the same design is still there from the first one. Let's take a look at the motor housing. So it still breaks down into individual components, so we're still able to wipe down fully in these areas here. Here is the body, here is the grip, and here is the housing for the motor, and here is the motor for those who want to see this. Allow me to zoom in here for you all. So as you can see it is marked with fall halber in there. And right now I'm using the stock 3.5 stroke right here. And it does have a plastic housing. The first Q2 didn't have this plastic housing right here. So that's one update that I did notice, nor do I remember the O-ring in this area right here. But I wanna to try to show it to you full 360 so that way you can know what to expect on your end. It is RCA input as well. And to reassemble back together is pretty straightforward. Simply drop that in like so. Make sure that we align it correctly so that way we don't strip the body and the motor housing. Like so. Placing the grip back on like so. So that right there is the Q2 Terminator. Let's head back to the box over here and let's see what accessories come within the packaging here. So under here we do have what looks to be an RCA cable, an O-ring and an Allen wrench right there or Allen key. And that's what comes within the box over here as well as some more literature over here. for the machine. So that's everything that comes within the box in terms of contents. What I want to do now is go about setting up this machine and I want to share with you all how I'm going to go about wrapping this tattoo machine. So here I have my setup, the CNC Q2 Terminator and I'm going to be using the Inkclaw wireless power supply for this setup right here. 
let me dry run it for you all so you can hear it. And that's at seven volts right there. It's still very, very quiet. It's a very quiet, smooth machine. This is one of my top favorite machines. This machine is the first machine that I actually ever invested into to begin my tattooing journey. And this is one that I was very, very happy with since the jump. So I'm very excited to be bringing more updated reviews on the CNC Q2 updates here. But that's what it sounds like right here. Very nice, smooth, and consistent. Where I'm going to begin is I'm going to begin with removing the grip. And for me personally, since this is... A unique shaped setup right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some saran wrap because it's gonna be easier to work with over blue film uh, blue film tends to be a little bit more stiffer so therefore it's a little bit harder to get onto uniquely shaped setups like this so saran wrap is gonna be the way to go for this right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get a layer and place it around the machine and then once I get a nice size layer going I'm going to wrap it around the entire machine I'm also going to be mindful of how far it comes down here I'm trying to get a barrier over the entire top part of the machine so therefore I'm gonna wrap it around here like so for me personally that's the reason why I'm going with the saran wrap barrier over blue film I do understand that blue film may be I guess more effective so to speak but saran wrap fits better for different setups so that's what really helps me determine if I'm going to be using the blue film or some saran wrap is the actual setup that I'm using so you can see we have one layer of saran wrap I still have full access to the interface of my power supply and I could repeat that again so I'm just going to place another layer but this one's going to be a little bit smaller not as much plastic going around there I'm gonna place it in this area right here so now the entire top part of my tattoo machine is now covered can work this right here and it's covered in full right there and everything is still accessible here from here I'm going to place my grip back on and then I'm going to repeat that process with this bottom portion of the grip and then from there I'm going to proceed to wrap it with adhesive wrap so I'm going to make sure that I get a barrier around it place it like so I don't want these two areas to overlap each other as I still need to have full needle depth adjustment as I'm tattooing. Especially if we're gonna be using multiple needle configurations, different sizes, yeah, you want to be able to adjust on the fly. And all I'm doing right here is just, I'm just meticulously placing the barrier down, trying to cover as much of the machine as I possibly can with the barrier. like so not going for perfection but I am going for an effective barrier and now my entire machine has a plastic barrier around it from here I'm just gonna to proceed to use some simple adhesive wrap here I have some adhesive wrap and again links for you in the description below to all the gear that I'm using here and then this is going to simply be for stability and comfort. I'm not going to use this to make my machine any bigger or anything like that. I'm using this so that way I don't have to tattoo on metal for hours on end. So it's just to provide me with a bit more comfort and stability. So that way when my hands do start getting full of ointment and stuff, I'm not sliding all over the place on the Saran Wrap. So wrap as needed. I'm going to wrap it like so repeat that with down here so now I have my entire Q2 covered with full needle depth adjustability and comfort and stability now I'm ready to go ahead and check out the performance of the Q2 for those who are curious on how it sounds with a needle in there here is an Apentis ballpoint cartridge pin and you can see it still has that smooth feel to it at 7 volts
we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the CNC Q2. On the left is the CNC Q2 Terminator. This is the updated CNC Q2 tattoo machine. On the right, we have the old first CNC Q2 that I ever purchased. So this is the first CNC Q2 tattoo machine that CNC did release. As you can see, in terms of length, they are almost identical in length. However, what does vary is the width. The Terminator, the new updated CNC Q2s are just a little bit fatter over the original. So the originals are a little bit thinner. You can see that here as well, but not by a lot, not by a lot at all. And the design you can see is still the same. The entire machine does disassemble. Here is the motor housing, the body and the grip. Both of them are click grip as well. I did do a full in-depth review on this machine. Be sure to check that out. So it is awesome to be up, uh, doing an updated review on the new CNC Q2 Terminator. I'll also bring another review on the new just updated CNC Q2, not this version, but the black version. Disassembling the Q2s is gonna be the exact same for both. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the CNC Q2 broken down its entirety. Both of the CNC Q2s have the motor housing up here with the RCA input. Both of them have the bodies as well as the grips. Again, the only real difference is that the uh, original first CNC Q2 is a tad bit smaller in terms of width, but in terms of length, they're identical in length. We can see some other differences within the motor. So this was the first original motor right here, and this is the new updated motor. Allow me to place these out and zoom in so that we can get a better angle and take a better look at these motors. Here we have the motor housings, and here's a close-up look at them. Both of these motors are fall harbor motors, so even the original old CNC Q2 does have have a fall harbor motor allow me to kind of show you the differences here so that way you can see that close up one thing that I am noticing is that the new updated CNC Q2 the Terminator version has a plastic housing around the motor and this one doesn't and this one has red wires and this one has black wires but I don't really think that that would matter much but that's one big difference that I am noticing is this plastic housing right here and it can be removed with these screws right there. I will also make another video showing you how I change out these cams before now I want to show you the old motor versus the new motor and the old motor right here as you can see is stamped with fall harbor right there as well as the new one in the back right there. So they're almost the same, but this one, it just has a plastic housing where the old one, if I'm correct, that's holding together with glue. So I think the old version, the original CNC Q2, is just held together with glue. And this new one has a plastic housing. The plastic housing does seem a lot more stable, make a lot more sense. So I do like the update there. Here is a profile view. Here is a back view of the motors. Here's a profile view this way. And here is a top view of the motors themselves. For those who are wanting to see the top right here, this is the top of them. And that's the new version and the old version here. Here's a close up look at the bodies here. And again, this one's the original first CNC Q2 that I picked up. And on the left right here is the updated CNC Q2 Terminator. And at first glance, you can tell that the CNC Q2 Terminator is a bit bigger than my first CNC, the older CNC Q2. And so much so that you can see the CNC Q2 actually fits in there. But for those who want to see this thoroughly, if you're looking to invest, then this video may be perfect for you. So that way you can see everything. If you have any questions, drop them down below. 
I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. And here is the grip. The same thing applies to the grip. You can see that it is larger than this right here. And again, the left is the new CNC Q2 Terminator, and this is my first CNC Q2 grip on the right. Allow me to conclude the video and relay some of my final opinions and some insight on how I feel about the new updated CNC Q2 Terminator tattoo machine. When I first started tattooing, I chose to invest into two CNC Q2 tattoo machines. I wanted one for lining and one for shading. The reason being is we can change out the cams and put a four millimeter stroke cam into the Q2. I'll make another in-depth video on that. And then we can have one for lining that'll have more of a punch. And then we can have one for shading for soft shading, dot work, shading, in general maybe even daintier fine line tattoos you kind of get the idea I felt that it was a well-rounded tattoo machine and I still feel till right now that it is a well-rounded tattoo machine for me personally I am able to line with this machine I'm able to shade I'm able to do dot work stipple color anything that I need for my tattooing any of the elements or the fundamentals that I would need to do within a tattoo I could accomplish with the CNC Q2 when I say well-rounded I mean that the CNC Q2 terminator version is not too heavy of a hit and it's not too soft or light of a hit I do feel like this new updated version with the plastic housing and the, the width there does provide a little bit more of a hit than the original version however it is not too hard of a hit meaning it's not gonna pack a punch the same way a 4.2 or 4 millimeter stroke would but we can still line with this machine should we apply the correct hand speed voltage and technique you get the idea behind that it is definitely capable of lining it is definitely capable of shading dot work as I stated stipple color all of the basic fundamentals it feels very smooth overall it's not loud in vibration either nor is the vibration harsh on my hands now I do feel that it is thicker in width a little bit over the original because of the new update which is in the motor housing how the motor has a plastic covering around it to I am assuming hold it in place is what it looks like to me for me personally I do like that update I do think that that was a good way to go in terms of that update it actually didn't really make it too much bigger than the original but we can definitely feel that difference there and I do feel like this machine feels more solid and I'm not saying that it, that the first one isn't as good as the first CNC Q2 machine never really failed me which is why I'm a big fan of it but what I am saying is that if we were to hold the new updated version in our hand we're definitely going to know notice a difference. One of my favorite things about the machine as well is that they kept the original design throughout these updates. It still breaks down to three individual parts as I showed you all. So did the original. So that's one thing that I am a big fan of right there. That's great for sterilization purposes. We can autoclave the grip if I am correct. So for me, the design was something that I've always been very fond of and I'm glad that they kept that design within the new updated CNC Q2s. I'm gonna give the CNC Q2 Terminator a five stars easily and here's why. I do love the fact that it's user friendly, easy to set up and easy to use, easy to break down. I also love the fact that it's sterilization friendly as well. It's easy to really get in there and sterilize and put our solutions on all the surfaces that we possibly can to make this low risk of a machine. Easy to do that. Not only that, I do love the design of the machine. It's easy to open up, it's easy to maintain as well. And I also love the new update. It does feel a lot more stable and solid. Another thing that I do love about the CNC Q2 is that we can do a lot with it. We are able to line, we are able to shade, we are able to stipple, pack, and it really just depends on what you were trying to do specific on your end. And I think that would really determine the experience and results that you're going to be experiencing and coming up with on your end. But for me, I am able to push round shaders up to like around 18 round shaders with a 3.5 and be comfortable doing that. One thing that I also love about this is that the cams are also interchangeable. So if we're looking for more of a punchier hit, we can change that cam out and we can get that punchier of a hit. And I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. Before this one, I just kind of want to stick to the review here and give you all my final opinions. Five stars easily. And those are some of the top reasons on why I'm giving the CNC Q2 Terminator five stars. Two thumbs up. 
Should you have any questions about anything that you saw or heard throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I also do have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you enjoy my content and find my channel helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, I appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.